It's been another strange summer for Spurs with another player wanting to go away and uh, Daniel Levy again digging his heels in and not letting him go. Uh, Gareth Bales, we all know, would like to go to Real Madrid. Whether they're going to pay the money remains to be seen. Whether Spurs are going to say yes remains to be seen. I would expect Bale to go and it's going to be a crushing blow for Spurs if he does. Although the future of Bale is in doubt at, at Tottenham, I think that they have actually strengthened the, the squad quite well this summer. Paulinho was, I think, a, a brilliant signing for them. Someone who plays in the Brazil midfield and was very, very good for them in the Federations Cup, which they won. The driving force behind that midfield. So I think that's something of a coup for Spurs to, to get him. We all know that Spurs last season needed a striker. Um, Adebayor and Defoe didn't really do it. I think between them, they scored fewer goals than, than Gareth Bale combined. So that was where I think that was where they fell down and why they didn't finish fourth last season. This summer they've managed to sign Roberto Soldado from Valencia. If he can get 20 goals for them, then I think that they'll be challenging again for the top four. And also they've signed Nasser Chadli, uh, their third Belgian. Everyone knows that you have to have a Belgian these days or you're not a hipster club. Tottenham's well near Dalston. This is something of a milestone for Andres Villas-Boas, who's starting a second season for the first time at a club. Um, I think that he had a difficult start at Tottenham last season and he was under pressure mainly for not being Harry Redknapp from certain sections of the press but I think he, in the end he showed what a good manager he is and although he's young and sometimes is inexperienced I think Spurs would be very pleased with what he did last season onwards and upwards really for them.